Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm using the Hello Friend Wishes stamp set from Mama Elephant. I really, really love this large sentiment that says Hello Friend. And I was kind of in the mood to create a more simple card today. So I'm going to do a watercolor background, keeping it very, very simple. And then I'll just emboss the sentiment on the front. I taped down some Strathmore cold press watercolor paper to a hard board using some blue painters tape. And I'm going to be using my Mission uh, watercolors. These are from Magello. I'm using only two colors today. I'm using Cerulean Blue and Viridian Green. And I'm wetting down my watercolor paper with a size 8 round brush. And Actually, wetting the, the watercolor paper at this stage isn't very important in the long run considering how I ended up watercoloring the entire piece. But I'm going to show you the whole process. So my initial thought that I, you know, I thought I was going to have a really soft background, but then the more I saw how beautiful this color was, I thought, you know what, I can't help myself. I need to have a really intense background. So that's what I decided to do. So I started out with that cerulean blue and really concentrated it at the very top of this watercolor paper. In the actual finished card, this is uh, this watercolor paper will be turned around with the dark area at the bottom. So I'm adding some more water on here, letting those colors bleed. And if you wanted to, you could definitely have this kind of um, bleeding look if you wanted to, but I wanted it to have a more seamless transition between colors. So I'm going back and adding more of that cerulean blue, uh, cerulean blue, and then coming in with some viridian green. And I'm really doing some wide strokes going all the way across that watercolor paper in order to blend those colors. So after I had this initial layering done, I let that dry completely. And then I came back in with some more color. And on this second coating of paint, I want it to look more stripey. So I'm going to leave some gaps in between. And I'm also using a more concentrated uh, paint here. Not as much water. I want more pigment than water so that the colors are really intense. As I come down to more of the center area, I'm going to let that color kind of fade out of my brush. I'm just adding a little bit of water to keep the, the movement until I go all the way to the very bottom of that painting. And I'm going to let that dry once again. Then brought in my distress sprayer, sprayed it into my into the palm of my hand, and then sprinkled on some water droplets. And this doesn't have as big of an effect on these traditional watercolor paints as it would on distress ink, but I was still able to put down my paper towel and pick up some of that color that was underneath the water droplets. Just wanted a little bit of interest going on this. And after I had picked up all of those uh, water droplets with my paper towel, I once again let it dry till it was completely bone dry. And then I came in with some gold paint splatters. The gold paint I'm using today is Fine Tech. And I'm using the kind of middle of the road color here. This is a gold color that will match pretty closely the embossing powder that I'm going to use on that really large Hello Friend sentiment. So I put the paint on the edge of this acrylic block, and then I'm using my brush to flick the paint off the edge of the block. This is my favorite way of applying splatters because I feel like I have a little bit more control of where it's going to go. Otherwise, I feel like it could go anywhere within five feet of that brush, and I end up getting paint everywhere in my craft room. I'm using my heat tool to help that dry, and then I uh, trim down the piece to be a little bit smaller than four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. And I'm going to be using my mini misty stamping tool. This is a stamp positioning tool. I'm going to use this to help me stamp this greeting twice in Versamark ink. I've prepped my watercolor paper with an anti-static powder tool. That's just going to help make sure that all of the areas around the stamp will not hold on to that embossing powder. It's gonna make it so we get a really clean embossed image. So I'm gonna use some Versamark ink and ink up that stamp. And then I'm going to stamp it once onto the watercolor paper. The reason I wanted to stamp this twice onto the watercolor paper is because of the texture of the paper. Because it's a little bit more rough than we'd say compared to a smooth piece of cardstock, it's not going to have 
as smooth of an impression. So I needed to have a couple rounds of this stamping to make sure that all of the areas on the letters had the Versamark ink on them. So now I'm going to remove it from my Misty tool and I'm going to sprinkle on some rich pale gold embossing powder from WOW. This is the, an embossing powder that matches pretty closely that gold ink color that I splattered on before. Now if you wanted to skip the Fine Tech Gold watercolor and just add some splatters using some uh, embossing powder, you definitely could. Um, one of the awesome tips that we learned in the Heat Wave class at OnlineCardClasses.com was how to em heat emboss with water droplets. So if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and check out the Heat Wave class, but that's definitely a way you can get your droplets to look exactly like your embossing powder. So because there were some little areas that were, little, that were more bumpy than others, because of that texture on the cardstock or on the watercolor paper, I decided to go ahead and stick this watercolor piece back into my mini Misty tool and stamp it one more time using Versamark ink. And then as I apply that gold embossing powder and then heat set it with my heat tool, I'm going to get an even more raised appearance. This is a great way to get a more embossed look on watercolor paper, which tends to really soak in the embossing powder and not really have that raised surface that we're used to. So if you like that raised look, but you're, not, but you're not getting it on your watercolor paper, maybe try stamping and doing that embossing powder in a couple layers. Used my mini uh, scoring tool from Martha Stewart Crafts to score my card base. This card base is made out of Nina Solar White and it's the 110 pound version. I adhered my watercolor piece with some foam tape and then I took one of the sentiments from that Hello Friend Wishes stamp set and I put that on a block and then stamped that in some Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is a great uh, greeting for the inside of your cards. In fact, that stamp set has a lot of awesome greetings for the insides of your cards. So that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is a really simple card. I think you can make multiples of this card very easily by just changing up the color that you use for the watercoloring and the sentiment on the inside of the card. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back on Wednesday with another card video. Until then, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.